Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of our XCOM 2 Let's Play. This is still technically a pre-release Let's Play, although there are very few restrictions on what can be covered. This is our first combat mission that will be televised. I did skip the tutorial and the first mission after the tutorial, but uh, we are now ready to go. We've got three named, or three, I don't know, squ actual squaddies with uh, classes and one rookie with us, because our specialist is injured. Our rookie is carrying a med kit. But everyone else has got some grenades. <clears throat> We've That's got to recover five. some reports. On the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. So this is a timed mission to get the uh, the data, uh, which always puts me on edge because I'm always like, okay, well, how how crazy do I have to go? To complete this time mission like I feel so much time pressure that I want to say like double move on the first turn which I know is dangerous because I could easily get into trouble well I mean it's not actual fog like I know that there's nothing actually right here um, but it is possible although very unlikely that there's an alien right here that might I might move into the aliens coverage so I want to avoid that um, what I could do is over here is almost certainly very safe and would give us a lot of vision. I kind of like the idea of getting my sharpshooter. There we go. Well, I had to click through everyone. Oh, you can't actually reach. I was really hoping to put you right in this corner um, because I figured it would be safe. Here, I'm not sure I'm going to get the kind of vision that I want, actually. I guess here would be okay. It doesn't give me coverage from the flank, though, which is unpleasant. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm just sort of hoping to start with maybe a bit more of a double movie. Um, all right. Oh, I can't get anyone to be of the right class in the right position. I don't even know if we can see around this from here. That would be a double move. This is actually a really awkward starting position. What the frack? Because all this is no cover. You know what? We're going to start with a double move. Done. If it turns out to be suicidal, well, that sucks, but you know. Uh, I'm going to double move with the sniper because she won't be able to snipe otherwise. It's the first mission. Oh, she? He, apparently. I just saw the ponytail and assumed. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with an even greater psionic potential. All right, so it's feeling like... Luckily, we don't have to worry about hopping into cover after all, which is good because all this chain link fence does not provide any cover. So I can double move people up here, even under, into no cover, and it's all right. So let's go and do that. <clears throat> and just double move as much as possible up here. Um, this should be okay, but I don't know, let's go here. Alien activity. I mean, someone could pop out of the fog of war over here, but it seems really unlikely. We would have to have a really weird setup with this map um, to make that happen. Okay, so we did, uh, looks like we did lose vision over those aliens, which is fine. We've got some civilians over here. we got to make sure to not walk into their area. And this tower over here. Now, we don't have the ability to do a ranged hack, which is too bad because that would have been really super convenient. But, you know, that's all right. You with the assault rifle. Um... Damn. I don't like the position. Everything about this map is really tough, because we need to go over there. But if we try to do that, we'll get spotted almost certainly from these guys. But we have to squeeze around this tower. I mean, I suppose we could just break concealment. Okay, looks like they don't have vision of us right now, which is nice. Uh, I don't think I want to... Well, no one can get there without a move into the yellow. <clears throat> I guess we'll do this. I am a little bit worried about being spotted oh, from yeah. above. But I do have some other moves after. <clears throat> Enemy sighted. Okay, that's fine. Next turn we might actually be able to move up enough to grenade those guys, which would be a very satisfying little kill. So I think what I'm going to do is... Closing on target just set up now. over here with some overwatch. Overwatch. 
Right. Uh, pistol overwatch, or maybe I actually do want to move. That I don't think I want to do, because if they move back to the window, I will be uh, very exposed. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't like the fact that we're not moving very aggressively, but it looks like we actually don't have that far to go. So that's good. Overwatch some more, and then maybe we can grenade some stuff after this. Overwatch all the things. Yeah, see, they've done that. Now, I suspect that on my turn, one of my characters will be standing in the vision range. But because he was, I think, in cover, and they moved into him, it didn't pop it. Actually, <clears throat> yeah, that's all vision range. Actually, everyone here is in vision range. But that's all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Grenadier. Actually, a, a regular grenade would probably be sufficient reach here. I wonder if I want to overwatch first. I think I do, because a grenade will kill one dude, but not the other. And Molly's in a bad position. I'm not going to set up an overwatch with her. I'm actually going to get ready to move her out uh, once it happens, because I don't want to get attacked there. She might move back or just move to a different kind of cover. All right. You've got the med kit, so you will definitely just overwatch. Uh, I'd be ending my turn in a vision spot. Would that? I'm not moving into it. I'm actually not sure. No, we're fine. Okay. We'll do this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grenade. It's going to kill the regular trooper. It'll damage the sectoid. I think this is hitting them. Yeah, yeah. They're definitely glowing orange. So I guess I'll do this, which will destroy the floor underneath them, too. In any case, the regular trooper's gonna die, and then I'm hoping we're gonna be in position to use the overwatch to kill the sectoid before he does anything. Mm, didn't take any fallen damage, which is too bad, but he should now seek to move into cover. Actually, he's already in cover, but he still might move. There he goes. Uh, where the hell did he go before my overwatch triggered? Alright, we shot him anyway. That is not a fatality, though. No, Sectoid was killed. Oh. Alright, I thought he had more than four hit points left. Alright. I just saw it in the, the, the log down below, though. These guys will activate, but they don't get to fire this turn. And in fact, my sniper might get lucky here. Very nice. <clears throat> As far as I know, there's one other trooper around. I still have my ranger who has not acted yet. <clears throat> now, Molly's not in a great place to deal with this, but I could run forward and just... Well, no, what I'm going to do is run to here and I'm going to use another grenade. Confirmed. Hope I'm not exposing Molly too much. This is for you. This is for you. That window was very explosive. I thought the grenade had gotten off early, but no. It just smashing the window caused a pretty dramatic explosion. So we have a bit of fire. Um, oh, is it a new turn? I'm like, how does Molly still have two moves? But it just advanced the next turn, which is good and lovely. Uh, I'm going to double move you to here because there's no, there's no opposition nearby. So we'll pick that up. I mean, there shouldn't be. We have not uh, neutralized all targets, so there's definitely going to be something. An Illyrium core, good. But there shouldn't be anything over there. Molly is going to move up to this window over here. Roger that. Objective position confirmed. Yep. Menace one five. This is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. But spotted no aliens. Nothing over here either, which is nice to see. I think I'm just going to overwatch her here. And I will do some double moves over here. I want to put a little bit more cover in this direction, although there's nothing there yet. Tell you what, just go ahead and move there. That's going to be fine. And like that. <clears throat> Good stuff. Okay. Okay. And next turn, we'll move up against the target. Now, some aliens might be roaming around towards me. Oh, or just roaming in general. That is a long-range shot for a shotgun. <clears throat> Missed. 
But what it does mean is that they are spotting me on their turn, which means all they'll be able to do is do a partial move. They won't actually be able to move in against me. They shouldn't be able to shoot at me. Because again, it's triggering on their turn. So they'll get to do their half move into cover, and that should be it. Lovely. Now, I have the range to go and slice and dice someone, which is pretty nice. Can I? Oh, I can't, I can't actually spot the sectoid. Wait. Well, it's on my little display. There you go. I can do that. That guy's not overwatching. I don't remember how many hit points the, um, the sectoid has and whether or not this will kill them. Obviously, they'll put me in a big p exposed position. We're going to have to make sure to kill the, um, the trooper first. Now, I can't snipe him from here. Actually, I'm going to be hard-pressed to hit him at all with that, won't I? Alright, Jaina. It would be really lovely if you could take this guy out for me. Perfect! So I don't know if we'll be able to one-shot the Sectoid, but the Sectoid... They, they mostly just go around and screw with you. They don't necessarily do that much direct damage. It looks like there's at least a chance I'll kill him. There's a damage range on the sword. I might need a high damage roll to get the kill. But it's worth a try. Yeah, okay. I think I rolled min. I think I could have only killed him on a max roll. So that's definitely not as good as it could be. Do I want to move here? I think I do, because it feels unlikely that there's anything there. I'll still be in half cover. I won't be able to attack this turn, but it should be a fine forward mood. Yeah, we're okay. And you can move up over here. You'll jump through the window. And can you? You can, in fact. It's only 35% chance... Now, the Sectoid, I expect him to move, but I don't expect him to move in a region where Matt Thomas here will be able to take an Overwatch shot. So I'm going to go ahead and take the, the pistol fire. Okay. It's only worth one third chance, but if it had done it, it would have killed him. Shot failed to connect. So I think he's going to run back. Or stand still and just res a creature. No, there. Oh! I could have Overwatched him. Ah, poop. That's fine. What are you going to do with your psychic powers? Just panic someone? No? Yes? Red someone. Okay. Which is totally fine, because as soon as we kill you, this thing goes down. I don't think this thing can attack this turn. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. Menace one five. The clock is ticking. That detonator isn't going to wait. Get to the vault and disarm it before we run out of time. No problem. We got this. Alright, so we're just going to go and sword him again. It's a little risky to be running outdoors to do this, because we don't know what else is there, but it should be okay. I suspect this is the final alien. That'll get rid of the zombie. There we go. We're not picking up further contacts near your position. Nice. Site is secure. Move on the target before the charges detonate. Will do. Do do do. Click. Hack. I mean, it's not gonna be much of a hack. I'm guessing, yeah, 100% chance over here. Um, wow. Well, I mean, that would be really nice if we could pull this off, but it seems pretty unlikely. Yeah, wow, that's a terrible roll. Okay. I mean, I suppose I might have been able to use someone else with a higher, um, hack skill. Still, I'm not going to complain about this mission. Flaws of victory, no wounds whatsoever. We got the data. 50% successful shot percentage. It's not that high. And I can remember that this doesn't count overwatch shots either. Most under fire, zero. No one, no one was actually even fired upon? That's incredible. Well, it was an awkward position at the beginning with that building and that that sensor, but we were able to engage very, very well. When in doubt, use more grenades. Nice thing about grenades is they do hit 100% of the time. You can really like count on their damage. 
The aliens must be getting nervous by now. Well, let's promote Richter, and we're going to get another ranger. Excellent. And then O'Brien, our squaddy, who is already a ranger, is getting his next level of promotion, which is excellent. I'm going to pick up Phantom. Love, love this, uh, especially on missions where you don't start concealed. Our ranger would still start concealed, which gives us one person to scoot to boot with. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. Although Blade Master is quite funky cool to make sure that uh, you do get those sword kills every time. More expanded magazines. Laser sight, that's all right. Uh, and another, an Illyrium core, which is a resource for building things. Okay. Nope. What is this? Private communication? Hello, it's the, the, the Shadow Man. The council you once knew is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. With one exception. It is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Yeah, but it's all in gobbledygook. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent black site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. New objective added. All right. Research resistance communications, fly to black site region, make contact. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. You and your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. And we got our engineer, so we can start excavation. Which we will do right away. Good. Research is still going for alien biotech. We will have to research resistance communications after that, but that's all right. I think we can pop directly to the bridge. Uh, I don't want to spend any more supplies, although it's nice that you can, in <laughs> excuse me, instantly recruit soldiers, which is good. Otherwise, I'd feel the need to like Commander, sort of pre. We have a lead on the alien pre-recruit them now. But we'll have to rely <clears throat> on the local resistance to actually get us into the facility. We should try to make contact with their forces in the region as soon as possible. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called Avatar project. All right, mission lock, must make contact, yada, yada, yada. It'll be a nice reward to the 125 supplies over there, though. Uh, disabled truck. To recent success, members of the Resistance in New Mexico have brought us reports of activity and may be able to investigate. Take four days to investigate it, but we will be Avenger rewarded with supplies. Course. Wait, that's not New Mexico. Oh, our, our forces in New Mexico let us know about something. Okay, I was like, that's not New Mexico. Uh, seems like a good idea. We're going to do that for sure. Actually, it'll time out nicely with our alien biotech research. Oh, the alien biotech will complete just beforehand, but that's all right. It looks exactly like my house key. Much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had known. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It it is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip 
bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the gene therapy clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. New objective added. I mean, this thing was my head. I certainly would like to know the more about it. officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. Advanced Warfare Center. That'll be a great building to build later on, but it's not our priority. And we can start doing autopsies. Gain a bonus ability outside their current class whenever they're promoted. Amazing. And engineers can decrease the time our soldiers need to recover from injuries. Also very, very good. Um, I'm going to start with the resistance communication. I foresee a number of Although it's sort of six of one, half dozen of the other, knowledge. certainly. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. All right, sounds good. From my own experience, Advent General... That's too bad he got cut off. That happens. It's, I think it's only when you go to the, um, what do you call it, the geoscape over here that it cuts off those little pop-ups. It's the only thing that seems to do it. All right, let's get the supplies from the disabled trucks. Boom. Uh, an illegally operating transport truck broke down in the waste, and upon seeing the Avenger moving in, the driver ran for cover. However, quickly returned as our squad approached and asked for help with repairs. After engineers got the vehicle running again, the driver handed over a few supplies in appreciation. Cool. Setting course for the Mexican regional tract. Okay, and I think there's nothing for us to do, because we can't go over here. Mission lock. Uh, but maybe gain some intel. We don't have the uh, we don't have the function to change what our bonuses from the uh, the station, so we may as well get the intel points for now. The debris was cleared. Excellent. So, oh, I can build the advanced warfare center right away. Interesting. Interesting. But I really, 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 really like the Guerrilla Tactics School. And the reason is, um, this allows us to unlock the 5th and later on 6th Soldier slot. Which is, to me, a super high priority. On the other hand, giving... Um, it seems like the earlier you get the AWC, the earlier you will start to accrue bonuses outside of your current class. I don't know. I, I think the Guerrilla Tactics School is too important. Getting that 5th member in your... Um, in your group, I think that's that's critical. So we're gonna go ahead and get that going on. Um, yes, assign the engineer to that. That's going to be fine. I could also build this slowly, so it could have taken 14 days to build and then instead be excavating. But I think this is going to be perfectly fine. Uh, da 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 da. Okay, back to the geoscape. We're gonna keep going till we've got another mission to do. Communication from the resistance. High priority mission. Operation Heavy Cavern, extract a VIP from Advent City, will give us a new scientist and 91 intel. I say we want to jump on that right away, certainly. We've got Ranger Ranger Sharpshooter Grenadier. Can we swap you out for a specialist? No, specialist is still gravely wounded. Um, so do I want to go with the second Ranger, or do I want to bring another rookie to train up? No, we're going to bring up the Ranger, that's going to be fine. You will have the med kit. We're just going to have the one med kit. That's okay. At this stage, I grenades do a lot more for us. I'm pretty convinced, so I'm going to be happy with that. And we are... Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and launch the mission. And with launching the mission, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Thank you very much for continuing to watch this XCOM 2 uh, pre-release, technically pre-release Let's Play. Although, we're not going to hit anything in this that I can't show you. Uh, with the embargo, we're gonna we're gonna be playing well past. It'll be well after release by the time we hit anything of that nature. Uh, so other than skipping the tutorial mission, I should be able to show you guys effectively everything that I'm going to encounter at that time. So boom. I like the car on display. I mean, I, it's it, it's boxy, but it seems to have a lot of space. It's an American car. Giant car. Or either that or it's a uh, European car but made for very short people. You know, if this is a smaller car, not a whole lot of headroom. 
Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Thank you very much for watching, folks. And next episode, we'll do Operation Heavy Cavern. See you then.